Hello, today we're here at Disneyland and we ate at Club 33, one of Disneyland's most exclusive restaurants. And I want to show you guys inside at the menu, the prices, and everything that we ate and bought at Club 33. It was really, really a great experience and I want to show you guys everything about it. If you've ever wondered what Disneyland's most exclusive and elusive experience is like, today I want to give you an inside look at Club 33. And these ducks. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice to share that experience because as a kid, I was always so curious to know, you know, what does it look like inside? What are they eating? Do they have free bread like the Cheesecake Factory? And let me tell you, it exceeds the expectations. Club 33 is different from a lot of the dining experiences at Disneyland because you either have to be a member of the club or you have to be invited directly by a member to be able to go. And I'm really thankful to have been invited. It was a super cool experience that I do not take for granted at all. It was the 55th year of Club 33, so they had the Emerald Anniversary Celebration, and that was really special, and it meant all the food was green, <laughs> kind of like green-themed, which was really fun. I'm a big fan of green. Green for the trees, green for Kermit the Frog, green for money. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, green. Green for bands. Um, but... <laughs> What am I talking about? Anyways, first off, Club 33 is so cute. When we arrived there, we went out to like the facade doorway and took some pictures. That's my cousin. And uh, I just love the details. Just like everything at Disneyland, there's so many details within the club. And it almost feels like a step back in time because it is 55 years old. So right off the bat, I absolutely love the design of the menus. Watercolor is so cute. It's just the art itself was stunning. They had commemorative tiki mugs for the anniversary. And those are so cute. They even have these hidden 33 with like the hands interlocking, which I thought was a really nice touch. They serve the most expensive drink at Disneyland by far. It is $1,500 per ounce and it's this cognac. So if you are uh, trying to have the most luxurious Disneyland experience. That's that's your drink, that's your cup of tea. Uh, my usual Red Bull is $11, so. Or what's my go-to, my the mint julep in New Orleans Square, I think that's like $5.60, $6 after tax. So um, $1,500, you're going places. That's a step up in life. Club 33 also is a different dining experience at Disneyland because you order a set four course meal and then they have different options for your first course, your second course, your entree, which also has vegetarian options, and then what they call the finale, which is dessert. Each set is $130 per person. So the first thing I got with this homemade tagliatelle pasta with artichoke and lemon braised veal. And I'm telling you, this was so good. The texture of the pasta was amazing. You can really tell it was homemade and like handcrafted. I could just envision them in the kitchen like rolling that pasta out. And uh, <laughs> it was emerald colored for the emerald anniversary. So you'll see a lot of this green thing running through and it's so cute. And every time I got a bite of that cheese, I just was like closing my eyes. I was just trying to remember the taste. It tasted so good. This nice, nice slices of cheese. Love it. <laughs> it got way too hot to be wearing that spirit jersey. It is summertime. Oh, I wanted to show you what everyone else got at the table because we did end up getting and ordering different things. And I thought it'd be cool to show the broad range and variety that they have on the menu. My cousin got the sauteed diver's scallop with English peas and leek coolie. And I like the little bubbles on there. They remind me of <laughs> the Little Mermaid, like the ocean. And this is a really high quality picture of a tempera fried zucchini blossom with shaved zucchini and a zucchini sauce. So if you're a zucchini fan, like the kind that puts them in brownies, maybe you're into this, I'm telling you. Zucchinis galore. Um, <laughs> Okay, and da -da -da, the moment we've all been waiting for, the bread rolls. So, um, <laughs> what do I, can we get a drum roll for the bread rolls? Okay, I'm all alone filming this and, and I'm, the amount of excitement I'm exuding for these bread rolls is almost kind of sad. But these bread rolls were so, so good. They were garlic salted, you know, brushed with the butter. You could see it on there. And when you bite into them, they're like fluffy pillows of gluten. Of course I love this, I love bread. 
I love bread so much. It's it's bad. It's almost a personality trait because I just talk about it so much. But um it's just it's just who I am. It's I can't help it. So I was savoring these rolls, getting rolls of my own, just eating <laughs> baskets of this. Uh, it was delicious. It came with butter, so smooth on the top you could skate over it, and um, I was really happy. I was revitalized. Even talking about it now, I, gosh, I look 50 years younger. I love it. I got some to go. I did. Actually, they. I didn't. I, did I ask? I did ask. I yeah, I asked. I was like, can I have some of these to go? And I ate them in the morning. <laughs> when you're there. You know, you gotta do it. When in Disneyland. And then I got the emerald soup for the second course. And this is a potato leek soup with smoked chicken and emerald oil. Uh, that's to celebrate the anniversary, of course. So it was very on brand. There were different layers to the soup, which was unexpected. There's like orange on the bottom and green on the top, kind of like a mood ring. And uh, this soup had a personality, I'm telling you, it was changing my mood from a uh, happier to happiest yeah it was that good it was really good there was this smoky flavor from the chicken and i was a vegetarian for like a whole year but i tell you i i ate this chicken with no remorse <laughs> i was like thanks for sacrificing your uh your chicken life for me because it was so smoky it was it was like a a taste i've never had before da bringing tears to my eyes um no that's just my allergies but it was really good and then someone else at my table don't remember who but they ordered the garden district salad it has a uh, marinated cucumber cream fresh and tender mache which i had to look up that's the name for tiny leaves and that's not at all related to paper mache i don't think i've ever ordered voluntarily a salad at disneyland um it's definitely a choice but it was not mine Okay, and now we're like an hour in. We we also went to buy merch. Like in the middle, we had a merchandise break, which is not something you usually do at a restaurant. But uh, dining room was pretty full that night, and they were like running out of different merch options, like sizes and stuff. So we went and I got went and got the um, spirit jersey, and this hat is actually from my first time at Club Thirty Three back in 2019 for my birthday. So this is actually an older hat, and I st they didn't have this design still, but I love this one. Ooh, can you see it? It has this, um, the New Orleans Square, like, blueprint on the inside, and it has this since 1967 on the back, and this embroidered top that actually says the words Club 33, which I really like about it, so. This has been my favorite special cap for many a years now. I cherish it, I love it, and I wear it all the time. My mom got this, the Celebrating 55 Years Emerald Anniversary. And what's cute about this, it kind of reminds me of uh, Tangled, is like this cute little mosaic design on the ears. The thing about this is it has this Club 33 embroidery on the side, just like the hat. I love this font. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's very nice. And I got that spirit jersey, and I got a different kind of hat. And that first time I went to Club 33, I also got this Club 33 Royale pin, which sits on my favorite pins pin board so uh, it's very regal would i ever wear that in the parks no it's too uh it's a little too ostentatious to wear it's beautiful we had a merch break much like in this video and now we're back to the food now the entree came out like we were i felt like i had been there for like two hours i was just savoring every little bread roll this is possibly the most posh thing I've ever done is uh, have a seared filet mignon with crab fritter, asparagus, and hollandaise sauce in the Club 33 at Disneyland. I've never expected to eat filet mignon at Disneyland before, and there I was, I was like cutting the little pieces and being so posh. Um, the crab cake was really good because of the texture. It was super crunchy on the outside, but then soft on the inside. And the hollandaise sauce was very creamy, and you just want to lick the plate. Is that, like, can I say that? It just tastes so good that you just want to get your money's worth. You're like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. I was so excited. Some of my photos turned out blurry because I was like, I just want to eat. <laughs> I'm done taking pictures for other people. I want to eat this steak. That would have been a mistake because then I couldn't make the video.
this stick. I thought it was really cute too, that the presentation of this. They have a little smear across it, and it reminded me of painting. I just felt like the chef was an artist. They were, they were painting up some beautiful portraits. I probably took more photos of my filet mignon than they ever took during the whole first moon landing, but you know what? Like, it was a historical moment in my life, and I had to capture it. My mom got a Spanish-style lamb T-bone with chorizo and green garbanzo beans and fingerling tomatoes. Fingerling potatoes. And I'm telling you, I was like, garbanzo beans? They come in green? And they do. I thought maybe they make them green, like they soak them, but no. Such a thing exists as a green garbanzo beans, so... I don't know, I thought Disney was just producing their own garbanzo beans for this. It was a super posh experience. I pretty much peaked. Uh, some people peak in high school, but I peaked at Disneyland in this moment. And while I was eating my filet mignon, the fireworks started going off. I was like, are you joking? So from our seats through the window, we could see the fireworks as I was eating a filet mignon and butter rolls. I almost cried because I was like, is my life going to get any any better? I hope so, but oh my gosh, very excited, very grateful that the fireworks, um, we were able to see them. I just thought maybe they might not do them that night, or I just, I don't know, I hadn't been to Disneyland so long. I was like, oh my god, they have fireworks here. I didn't know what to do. I was like, do I eat? Do I watch fireworks? And I was just multitasking my little heart away, and I really feel just very grateful for this experience. And then we got to the finale, which uh, came at the finale of the fireworks. There was the savory cheese board with the array of cheeses from all over the world and honeycomb, which I've always wanted to try, but they usually only sell them in like big blocks. And I just, I'm like, I don't know if I want to buy a block of honeycomb for like $30. But then I got to try like a little honeycomb. It was so good. What are the ethics of that? Like, are you eating like a bee's house or is it just a kid? I don't know, I'll have to look it up. The cheese board also had candied pecans, which were, mm. Thumbs up from me there. How can I pass up a key lime pie? Are you, are you joking me? It's basically got my name written on it, so. I ordered the key lime pie, it had a strawberry rhubarb relish. And honestly, I'm exposing myself, I've never had rhubarb before. And I was like, what? I always hear about rhubarb on like Chopped and when I watch Food Network. And it's just like a colorful kind of celery. And I got it and it's such a tangy good flavor. Not something I would probably make at home, but also thumbs up. It was super zesty. And you know sometimes when you order something that's like lemon flavored or lime flavored, it's just not hitting strong enough. Like it tastes like they put lemon in there, but then just doused it with water and then like put in. No, this, this was the most zesty cake. It was like biting into a lemon, or in this case, a key lime or is there a key lime no it's just like biting into a lime so good and it had this tostada kind of dessert on top filled with the strawberry rhubarb as well i love it i'm getting so hungry just talking about this and then my cousin got the chocolate and pistachio cake with anglaise and shamir just like that filet mignon they do a little paintbrush because they know they are making a masterpiece out here um and then I was so full by this point, I just, I've been full at Disneyland before, but this time I was like, oh, you're gonna have to roll me out, like, like, like a roll of Parmesan cheese, I mean, like, just push me down this hill. And my family, they wanted to relax, of course, so we had a, they had a cappuccino after the meal, and, um, my mom had a tea, so they brought out this really cute tea set, it's like a cup, and a plate, and it's so cute, and I went to go look at more of the merchandise. I'll try to find some of that merch to show you guys. It's it's pretty cool. This is the hat from the Emerald Anniversary, so it has this kind of, it's a little bit more low key than this one, which is kind of cool. It's like incognito. It has a little 55 on this cup here, and then it has Club 33 55 years inside, and it also has the little talking, I think it's a vulture that's in the club that used to talk and listen to guests. Cute, chic, sleek. And a little merch try on haul. I got this spirit jersey wearing my trusty old hat and I got some keychains for my friends. Overall, I had a really great time. I 
feel really, really thankful to be able to go back and, and share the experience. So please let me know your thoughts and if you have any questions in the comments below. I read all the comments and I make videos weekly about art, illustration, things I'm passionate about, like making music, making books, and painting. I love food, so this is Japanese ABCs and a shameless plug for uh, my children's books to practice your Japanese. And I make cottagecore themed coloring books. This sun for my cottagecore gals and pals out there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Stay sweet. <laughs>